If your starting point for the data that you need to cut is a bitmap, a TIFF or a JPEG or some raster based image, Archem Insignia includes a module called ArtTrace that comes as a standard part of the program. If I pick a GIF here that I've just downloaded off the internet, which is the logo of a company that I need to do a program for, we'll see that it opens it up, it gives me the option to set the size, I'm just going to take the defaults, and I can see from the bottom here that I have many different shades of blue, even though this looks pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the tool in ArtTrace just to reduce it down to two colours. The next thing I'm going to do is just select the fact that I want to fit the vectors to this from the bitmap and instantly I have vectors fitted around the outside of the bitmap there. I'm just going to take those vectors and we will bring them into Arkham Insignia. Now, I can see that these are not exactly perfect and what I need to do is make sure for instance that this is a circle and that I have nice smooth transitions here, that these areas are straight and everything looks good. The way that I'm going to do that is just delete this top piece here and edit these bottom two. The first thing I'm going to do is take this circle here, or what should be a circle, and I'm going to make sure it really is a circle. So we've got a tool in Archem Insignia where I can take the vectors here and I can convert them to circles or squares or rectangles based on the original or based on a specific size. So I'm going to say from the original to a circle and you can see that's automatically generated a circle that is as close to the original size as we can. Next we're going to take this vector here and I'm going to go into the node editing mode. I can see I've got nodes here which really need to be lined up. Again we have lots of shortcut tools inside of Arkham Insignia where I can take these and with just a single keyboard click I can instantly line them all up along a particular axis. In this case also their Y values are the same but I could also do that along X. I can convert this line here to make sure it's a line and then we can come in and actually start to delete some of the additional data that we've got here and make sure that these lines are smooth. Now I've distorted those lines now but I actually copied the original. So this will give me the opportunity now to come in and with these lines being smooth actually take them and just make sure that we can accurately match that original data. Then I can come in, delete the original again and we're just going to create a couple of lines here which will allow me to accurately mirror this around the center object. You can see that Arkham Insignia has lots of automatic snapping there so I was able to pick up the quadrants of this circle. Now we're going to pick this and use the mirroring tool in order to say make a copy, mirror that about the line and then we're going to mirror it about this line without copying it. Delete those two lines in the middle there and you can see we've got a very nice clean accurate representation of that logo. Very easy for me to clean up data that we've vectorized within Arkham Insignia.